Hello friends, it's Sarah and welcome back to the Wild Pickle Press channel for children. Let's do our welcome song. Do you remember it? Let's go. Welcome friends, welcome friends, let's learn something new. From nature, art and poetry, songs and stories too. We'll cook up something all so tasty, maybe share some tea. You're invited to imagine, feel, and wander with me. And you are. So today, friends, we're gonna be doing a little nature study and a little nature hunt, in a way. But first, let me ask you something. Do you know what a praying mantis is? It's this guy. A praying mantis is a large insect that holds its front legs like this, makes it look like he's praying, Hence the name, a praying mantis. Well, the praying mantis can leap, he can turn his head, and he has a huge appetite. They love mosquitoes, which I'm perfectly fine with them eating. They love aphids and caterpillars and a lot of other things. They live for around six months, which is about half a year, not bad for an insect. But one of the really neat things about a praying mantis is the type of egg that they lay. Well, the egg that they lay is pretty big for an insect egg, and it's very interesting looking. While you may not have praying mantis eggs around your home, I don't know if you do or not, but I do. And I happen to have one in a bush behind my house right now. So we are gonna take a little look at the praying mantis egg, and I want you to see what you think of it. So let's whisk ourselves away to the great outdoors and see what we can find. Hey friends, we're outside and I'm deep in the American boxwood bushes where we're about to take a look at the praying mantis egg. Now, one more thing you need to know about the praying mantis egg before we take a look. It actually is not just called an egg. No, the praying mantis egg has a very unusual and interesting name. It is called an Uthaka. Can you say that? Uthaka, yes. So if you find one around your house, be sure to tell your friends and your family that you discovered not a praying mantis egg. No, no, no. You discovered an Uthaka. Let's take a look. There it is, my friends. There is the Uthaka. Looks something like, I don't know, somewhere between a tiny little beehive and a toasted marshmallow that you might have just taken off of the fire. It's very interesting looking. Let's look at the bottom of it you'll see that even from a different point of view, it's a little wrinkly underneath. Let's get up under there. There we go. It actually kind of looks a little heart-shaped and kind of swirly from underneath, doesn't it? Can you believe that this one egg is holding one to 200 or more praying mantis babies? Now, they won't hatch until spring or early summer because they need weeks of warm weather in order to hatch. But this is an incredible looking egg. Let me come out just a little bit so you can see how hidden it is in there. Can you still see it? There it is. And there's the Uthaka. What did you all think about that praying mantis egg? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Any insect that can lay an egg like that, that can hatch up to 200 or more babies at one time, is a really incredible insect. So, until next time, friends, will you please repeat after me? I would love for you to say out loud, I am brave. I am strong. I am kind, I am smart, and I love who I am. And I hope you do, friend, because you are pretty amazing. You are an incredible human being, just like the praying mantis is an incredible insect. So until next time, we'll do more nature studies, don't worry, and more nature hunts. And I want you to come along with me. They're pretty fun, aren't they? Bye.